out in the frozen abyss. Kevin to my left. That might be my first. I think that's something. It's just over. Yeah, midsection. So I just found one like right there, and then I'm walking with Kevin slowly, and I came across this guy. This is beautiful. Let me take a couple. Whoa, 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 I'm falling. Let me take a couple stills of that. It's beautiful work. All right, guys, this one's for Keenan. Keenan reached out to me the other day and he's like, you really find that stuff or are you just in the middle of a field and dropping it laughing at me? So I said, I'm really out there and uh, here's proof. Here's one, just found. It's a real deal. Little thing. Translucent is all heck though. I'll take it. I'll be back. Well, I'm in Kentucky today, and this is what we call Flint's ball field. We get all kinds of killer-looking flint in it, and I walked here with Trevor and Tim late last year. Pretty much the same conditions. Um, they let me on again just to stay in between the rows, and uh, about 10 minutes ago, I found this. It's like a base. It's the first time we've ever found an artifact here, and then as I was talking to my buddy Kevin, I said, hold on a minute, I got a live action. And that's what I just found. Let me see if I get that focus. There it is. I'm going to take some stills of it and you'll see it in the cleanup. Good. Awesome. I'm here with Tony in Tennessee. Walking his uh, spot here and he might be on to something here. Definitely a work piece. That's getting pretty big actually. Look at that. That flaking is pretty sweet. Oh, broken. Nice. Cool. Well, that's our first one. Broken tool. Broke a tool. We'll be back. Alright, Tony's pointing out to me one that I just walked by, presumably. Oh, absolutely. There it is, absolutely. Jack's reef broken. No, it's not broken. Wow, look oh, at that. It's got one ear on it. Go That's on. killer. Right there. Alright, I'm still getting my eyes one used to this. <laughs> That's killer. Awesome, thank you. Cool. My best find here so far today, I believe. Look at that. Big Sandy. Big Sandy. Oh no, I think I see a no, no, <laughs> look at that. Oh man, that would have been a smoker too. Oh, look at the workmanship on that. That's a killer. Oh, all right, here. Well, I got you live filming. I'll show you what else I found. And since I got Tony nearby, I got that tip and that tip. We've been here, what, about an hour? Yeah, not even. Yeah. Minutes. The sun's barely even up. And there's some of Tony's goodies. I can't see them. Broken but... darts. Awesome. We'll be back. I'm saying some expletive words right now. Yeah. Oh, buddy. That could have been That's going to be a big. base. You're going to have a base up under there. Or you're a big gonna, cops. You're going to throw up. Oh, you're right. You're right. Get sick, dude. I am. Wait, 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 wait. Snap base card. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that monster. Yeah. Oh. He's like, we're about to give up in this area. And he's like, well, just wait, man. You'll find a killer. I'll take that as a killer all day. Killer. <laughs> Thanks again, Tony. Yeah, that been awesome. Huge. Yeah. Totally missed it. All right, here's one that Tony just walked up on. Look at that. Unreal. A little tip damage on it. Jeez, un it. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Hey guys, here's my cleanup video. This is over about the last month. We met our uh, friend Lee, Trevor and I, and Kevin met Lee up in uh, it's kind of central Ohio area, and we walked with him. This was two or three weeks ago. I'll get the dates later, but that's a neat little base. These were all found in that area. These are just my finds um, from that hunt. 
we actually found some killers as well. This is just amazing flint with like, you know, the grayish brown base or grayish brown swirl in there. Awesome workmanship. Shame about the tip and the, the base. I don't know what that could have been. And then this was from uh, about a week later. I think I, I'm hoping to combine all these videos into one. This is a uh, Shalandoni, uh, I don't know, but Flint Ridge basically. Beautiful little tiny thin specimen. <clears throat> that was a one and done field. Found that one after walking about two hours and left. Uh, I believe it was a bifurcate. There's got that one ear tip there and then the other one just broke off. And then this guy here, I was looking for flint. You should have that video on here too. Um, looking for flint and came across this fella. Neat little guy. This was outside of uh, northern Kentucky. Uh, neat little thing. I, as you can see, I've been playing around with flint napping. That's how I have this little scar and a little blood blister action going on. Healed up pretty good. Just annoying. And then this was uh, yesterday. Got to meet our friend uh, Tony. Tony from 10. He gave me this one before we met and started walking. Beautiful little stem point. These were all found at the same site and uh, he was nice enough to walk, find some killers, and then at the end of the day because we had just met, you know, gave me a few. We got some neat little work thumb scraper pieces. Almost looks like Carter Cave. Who knows? Um, nice little tip. Hold on a minute. There we go. I think this is Dover. A lot of this stuff is almost looks like breath it. I don't know. Um, another neat little tip. Again, this was walking four hours with, with uh, Tony. He's got his own channel. Uh, T-O-N-Y... And T E N N or Tony and Ten. These guys are really small over here, but these are bases. I think he was calling these dark points. Little tiny guys, very thin later culture. This is a multi occupational location that he took me to. Um, neat little side notch, shame, you know. Thin as all get out. Another, another, whoop. Another really thin base. Later culture stuff. Um, another side notch there on the bottom. Some worked bases, possibly like a small cobs or who knows or a preform. That's uh, you know like creek stained Dover as well. And then I found this and was we were walking out. He says, "Oh, I don't normally find anything over here," and this one was sitting right up on top of the mud. Little tiny thin guy. Broken base. But I'll take it. Uh, the finds of the day yesterday. This was beautiful. This big sandy. This thing was complete. Awesome. Ground base. Look at that stain on there. Shame that guy wasn't all there. And then he found this killer Kirk as we were leaving bifurcated base Kirk sitting right up on the top saying take me home it was nice a little damaged but you know I really don't have many if all if any uh, Tennessee Flint artifacts so I was excited to take anything a little scraper and then this is a beautiful little pentagonal piece he found I think I got it on film too shame about that ear you can see it's got that pentagonal shape tip. Jack's Reef pentagonal. Dover Flint. <clears throat> and then the find of the day, I think, was this guy. This was a monster. This thing would have been five inches if it was uh, all there. Snap base, Kirk, or whatnot. Got that busted up ear there. But just the craftsmanship on this is just top notch. Unreal. Dover Flint. It's got the kind of gray cloudy areas in it that I love. Let me see if I get a good... There we go. It's a shame. A little bit of a big one. That's about an inch and a half right there in that broken state. So you can just imagine how much more it wanted to 
or how much more was there originally. So that's the last couple of weeks, last about three weeks, and we're all kind of holding our breath, waiting for Trevor to get healthy and back out there. So it's been fun. Just missed the Trev machine out there. So thanks for watching. We love the comments, and uh, let's all hope that Trevor gets healthy soon so we can all get out there and tear it up in this awesome spring weather. Talk to you guys. Thanks. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Also, I forgot to mention that I have a friend uh, who lives in, we'll say, southwestern Kentucky. Uh, I've been friends with him online forever. He's uh, in the home of Sonora Flint, and uh, Sonora Flint's my favorite Flint. And uh, he was kind enough to meet up with me as I was traveling through the area. I gave him about 10 minutes notice, and he showed up. This is a, a Hammerstone, a Sonora Flint Hammerstone. You can see the uh, cortex there and the browns and then the blacks. And you can see all the ancient damage from it, you know, hitting hitting other pieces of flint to break it down for tools and, you know, various reasons. But that's that would be an artifact there. And then he was also kind enough, again, this is telling this fella about 15 minutes in advance that, hey, I'm coming down and I love your flint and thinking about getting into napping. He gave me this awesome bullseye piece of uh, lighter gray to dark gray flint this big old nodule you can see how red the clay is there compared to our brownish clay so trust me guys I'm not gonna mess with any of this stuff until I've had my share of uh, working with junkier shirts before I get into this stuff because this is uh, awesome here's another complete smaller spall he was saying Sonora it's probably the darker the black variety of Sonora. Just awesome. It's like a geode. Or it is a geode, just not crystallized. And then this guy. This was nuts. He gave this to me and I'm like, oh my goodness, you're killing me. It's like a big dinosaur egg, right? And then he's like, oh, check this out. Look at that. That's that's it right there. It's purplish, dark gray with a the, with the bullseye just phenomenal waxy material and this guy is I'm gonna hold on to this guy like I said until I've you know tried napping for quite some time and I'm comfortable with it and uh, not only that but to be honest I might be heading back down there in a couple weeks just to go on a bring a couple five gallon buckets and tear up some fields that he's got see if I can get me some more of this stuff so that's all I thought I'd share this stuff with you guys and uh, thanks for watching have a great day